Aliyah Boston claiming her 73rd career double double right here at the CLA, carving her name in program history at the number one spot. I knew that it would be cool to get it at home. And so before the game, I did think about it. But once you get into the flow of it, it's kind of like if it happens, it happens. And then I didn't even know that I broke it. And Coach Daly was like, oh, congrats. And I was like, oh, thanks. I guess I did it. <laughs> but yeah, once, I mean, once you get into the flow of the game, it's not really a focus. It's more about what's happening on the floor. How do I help that? And then, as Coach said, just let it come naturally. And so tonight, I think it did. One of the best things about Aaliyah is, like she said, she doesn't even know that she's doing the things that she's doing. She's just going out there playing hard and giving her all to the team. Um, so it's definitely a blessing to play with somebody like her, someone that's helping us break records and leading us literally like every day. Boston's 13 points and 14 rebounds pushed her past Sheila Foster, who's been holding the record for the past 40 years. I really enjoy the fans remembering me and people coming up to me and saying we set the stone the stepping stone, so it's just a great feeling, and I'm just happy for her and that lady came out because we keep pounding, baby. Um, it's great to have her in the house. I mean, she always, you'll, you'll hear her, you know, throughout the throughout the game, keep pounding. I mean, she is one that pounded the the boards, and um, and we, you know, we we hear her, and we hope we hope to make her proud because she was one that. There's some incredible things here in South Carolina. Foster's record wasn't the only thing broken today. South Carolina also out rebounding Arkansas 74 to 17, setting a program record for rebounds in an SEC game. And it was also the widest rebounding margin in program history. All together, we're starting to just play to play better together as a team. Um, everything is just starting to fall into place um, and it's perfect timing. The Gamecocks get the week off, but then they'll head out on the road to Alabama. Tip off for that matchup at 1 p.m. next Sunday. At the CLA, Amanda Poole, Watch Fox Sports.